Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People. And we continue our discussion with Gazelle, with Shiri, and with Gregory. And um, this this literally was happening as we had the conversation. And we're launching a LinkedIn page. And so, as we said, or as I said yesterday, if you can, so if you're Basically, women are getting this a hell of a lot. So if you can send screenshots, all the messages you've been sent in the comments below, what we're doing is we're starting a LinkedIn page called LinkedIn Me Too. And we're going to um, put this abuse front and center of a conversation in the same way as it occurred in the film industry or in the music industry because sexual violence is something which is endemic for it to be so ubiquitous is horrifying and so i urge you to please leave your comments because once we start to talk about this more and more then people will start to say oh yeah, I didn't speak up to defend that person. Oh, I let that person get away with that sexist comment. Because you have to be proactive to generate the society that we deserve to live in. All right, enjoy the show. What I'm going to try and do with this show, start a hashtag, start getting feedback from women on LinkedIn so we can start to uh, approach it as an issue because if we can get so gregory's post that one um yes. had 450 500 engagements so if we can get um enough people following this we can apply pressure to linkedin because it's easily done in these technology companies to report to block so you shouldn't have to be continuously receiving it so what i'm interested in is something basically sickening that was sent to you that someone watching this video male or female will go fucking hell that that is not right and i know lots of things have happened to you but if you think about linkedin uh, and give us an example Actually, for LinkedIn, um, another, oh, just uh, in your words, I reminded an, uh, another person who contacted me recently, a month ago. Uh, this person, you know, uh, uh, it's uh, more than eight months. When someone is sending me connection requests, I will go through the profile, I will read first. Then if I feel like eh, this person is a spammer, I will ignore because uh, I don't want headache. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like no, if this person got enough information with his own profile picture and uh, you know it looks professional, okay, then I will accept. Or well, one person, uh, he sent me a uh, connection request, and as soon as I accept, he started sending me email. Then uh, because you know my email is um, on my profile, it's visible, you can see it. Then uh, he said. Hi, Gezel. Hi, how are you? Uh, please uh, share your WhatsApp number with me. It's so urgent. I said, okay, how urgent is it? I was thinking like maybe he's dying or I don't know. <laughs> Why not? I remember on that day I was not in Gale. I'm, I'm living in Kuala Lumpur. On that day I was in Ipo. Ipo from Kuala Lumpur is uh, three hours uh, far from here. I was like, I was like, okay, maybe he needs my help or I don't know, this kind of thing. I uh, I usually do not post my WhatsApp number, but I responded his email. Okay, uh, chill first. Then uh, now tell me how can I help you? And you, know, I have some uh, good job spots for you. Um, I wanted to work with me. I said uh, actually I'm very tied up with my own business. It is not only one uh, uh, one field that I'm working. Uh, I got a, a, anything I can uh, from any way I can earn. I will do. Um, no, no, no. This one is so. Uh, uh, this one is different with what you do. Um, please give me a WhatsApp number. Uh, and I was like, okay. Then I passed my no uh, WhatsApp number to him. He said, hey, uh, uh, you, you mentioned in your profile that you are a model." I said, "Yes, modeling and acting uh, uh, both are my passion. So I am doing it actually uh, part time. Uh, it is not my profession." Um, because I want to get more audience, so through modeling and acting, I can do that. 
Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No worries. Yeah. Oh my god. I trusted this phone holder. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Then uh, after that, uh, he he told me, uh, he gave me his uh, address, his office address uh, in KL. I said, okay, um, I, we can meet each other. And he said, uh, look, actually, I do not want, uh, I want you to come to my office late mm. after 6 p.m. I said, okay, then. Yeah, I want you to come uh, late after 6 p.m. Then, uh, uh, um, and I want you to wear some uh, something transparent. So what do you mean? Uh, he said, yeah, because I want to see how how is your body. And I want to know how flexible you are in modeling job. I said, um, uh, look, I'm not that much flexible to show my body to unknowns or strangers. I'm just a model, okay, do not, uh, don't think, I, uh, my profession, I'm not a body dealer, I'm just a model, okay? Uh, for any advertisement, yes, um, for bikini advertisement, for lingerie, yes, I wear, then they would capture photos and gone. Basically, while you were out of the room, Greg said, I think we should really make this an action, an action point. So I'm gonna create yeah. a LinkedIn page. The LinkedIn page is going to be called LinkedIn hashtag me too. It's about abusive connections, the title of this show. Because Shiri said, there's no point sugarcoating this. This is going on, not just here, but in all social media. And mm -hmm. the way to get people to maybe think twice is for suddenly 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 women to start sharing stories. Yes. And in that way, people are going to go, shit, this is much bigger than I realized. So what kind of, yes, absolutely. I mean, for example, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the speaker view, so just you on camera, and can you look it down the lens of your camera and speak to oh. the women and the men that will be watching you on your feed and say, mm -hmm. this is what I want, Yeah. I'll go to you yeah. in five, four, three. All right. So uh, regarding this um, abusive uh, male problems and female, because I read some comments in um, Gregory's post when he posted this picture that some guys, they have uh, they have the same experience as I had or other women had. One thing which I I strongly believe is for, for men uh, who experience this kind of things in LinkedIn, I'm not going to say 100%, but 80% uh, it comes from a man. Mm -hmm. And those kind of profiles, even if it looks so professional, it comes from a person who is impersonating someone else. Right. Because I already, I had the same experience. For example, uh, I'm not a big shot. I am not a, a famous person in social media. But if now you go to Facebook, you will see some fake accounts with my picture. Really? You, if you, yes, yes. If you go to Instagram, you may see my picture, which is not on my own page. It's someone else who is using my pictures. And it's called, it's coming from my own friends. Uh, those who I trust that you uh, be my Facebook friends mm -hmm. and my Instagram followers. So they are abusing my pictures. Then they will connect to you as a guy that uh, they will act like it's me. Right. Because it's, uh, it's actually from my own local friends, from my own country. It is really common in my country. 